you thought this series was dead, didn't you? No, 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 people. We are back, and we are back today with a massive game as we attempt to book Bobby Moore's fourth Wembley final in as many years in today's episode of More to Win. guys it's me bad jokes back at you once again with another video and today guys we've got episode number six of the west ham united more to win series here on fm19 using the 1966-67 database that was of course created by the mad scientist the link will be down below to download it and as you can see it's a massive game today we're away versus Nottingham Forest in the League Cup semi-final second leg. It's 2-2 from the first game. So it's everything to play for as we do try to get Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, Peters fourth Wembley final in as many years. Which would be absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, it's been about a month since we've last had a video in this series. I want to apologise for that. I was really ill in August, so I wasn't up to making videos. But we're back now, and I'm really excited for this. I really want to see if we can get to Wembley. Let's go and have a look at the scores since the last video. And the last video was the Chelsea and Nottingham Forest doubleheader. We, of course, drew with Chelsea 0-0 in the first game. And then we drew with Forest 2-2. So two decent-ish results there. And since then, we had an absolutely shocking doubleheader against Chelsea. I'm not quite sure how this worked. But we was away against Chelsea for both the games. We lost the first one to Chelsea. Six goals to one. And yeah, awful performance. As you can see, Bobby Tambling with a couple. Houseman with another couple. Hollins and Cook with the others. And it was all done by about half-time. And yeah, very, very dreadful performance. But then, as what seems to happen, or seemed to happen, back in the old days, when games like this would pop up, we had another one four days later, this time in the FA Cup, and we won it. No idea what was different, no idea what we changed. I don't think we changed anything from what I remember. And yeah, we got a 2-1 win. So we're still in the FA Cup. We've got Man City in that particular competition in the next round. And speaking of Man City, it seems to be we're just playing the same teams over and over in January. Because we we played Man City in the league and we drew with them one all. Peter Braybrook getting us an equaliser in the 93rd minute. Absolutely great performance there. And so, yeah, Nottingham Forest today, big, big game. If you're unsure on how this series works, uh, you, you might have just got a gist of it from seeing all the old names there. But I am going to link at the end of this video the, uh, the previous episodes in this series. So go and check out episode 1 primarily because that really explains how this database works and how this series is working. So yeah, go and check that out. And so yeah, let's get into today's game. Against Nottingham Forest, we've got Mackleworth in goal, Burkitt, Moore, Brown, Burnett as our back four, Bovington, Brookin and Redknapp in the middle of the midfield, Peters and Braybrook on the wings, and then Johnny Byrne up top. Johnny Byrne, as you can see, is having an absolutely phenomenal season. 23 goals in the league, I think that is. Now that's in total. 23 goals in total from 29 starts and one sub appearance. So here is hoping that he can get another couple of goals today. Martin Peters as well. He's supposed to be a striker, but I've been playing him on the left wing and he has been doing phenomenal there. Now you can see in the league, average rating of 7.69. An average of 7.63 altogether from 26 starts. 
and 14 goals and 8 assists. So yeah, he's having a great year. And Peter Braybrook as well. He's having a decent season. Nothing too special. 6 goals from 24 starts and 3 subs. And so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I think we should be okay today. Let's just have a look and just make sure there's nobody else really uh, important missing. No, there isn't. Jeff Hurst, unfortunately, is injured. He's out until tomorrow. Really gutting for him that he cannot make today's game, but he can't. So that is going to be today's game. Let's go crack on into the game. Here we are. We're the favourites. We're 6-4 to four to win the game, apparently, according to the bookies. We did beat Forest earlier on in the season in the league. So hopefully that might give us a bit of confidence going forward today. And really, really hope we can win this one. Here we are, guys. Nottingham Forest lining up with a 4-4-2. Grummet in goal. Winfield, Chapman, McKinley and Hindley as their back four. Hinton, Newton, Hennessy and Crow in their midfield. And then Wignall and Story Moore up front. I'm going to say Nottingham Forest have lost four of their last five. And I expect us to pile on the misery. And Trevor Brookin seems confused. Okay. Not sure what he's confused about. But as long as he goes out there and he scores a goal, I'm not going to care that he's a thick bastard and he's got himself confused. And so let's go kick off the game. Early prediction, I'm going to say 2-0 us. I'm feeling confident. All right, and first highlight of the game, and it's Johnny Byrne with a long shot there and Grummet with the save. Now Newton with the ball for Forrest on the edge of the box. He goes to play in and Story Moore with the shot. And that goes high over the bar. 22 minutes into the game now. Johnny Byrne with the ball out wide. Goes to Peters. Plays it to Brookin. Into Bobbington. Can he turn? Can he get us off? No, he can't. Brookin with it. On the edge of the box. He goes for the shot and it's in. I told you I wouldn't care about him being stupid as long as he scored. And he's done exactly that for only his second goal of the season. And Trevor Brookin in his debut season might have just booked us another place at Wembley. Brookin with the shot on the edge of the box. And that was a beautiful curling effort. What a goal that was to give us the lead. And there we are. That's half time. We are 1-0 up. 45 minutes away from Wembley. Please let us hold on here. But let's have a look at the half time stats. We've had 10 shots to their four, with four on target for us, only the two for them, and 55% of possession. And let's go into the dressing room, and let's have a talk with the lads. We'll go passionate, I'll go, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. A couple of lads are motivated. I have faith, I have faith, and I have faith. First highlight of the second half, it's Forrest with it. And they're level. Bob Chapman with the header. What happened to our defence there? Just absolutely no pressure on anybody. And of course it's Bob Chapman with his first of the season. Whenever anybody scores against you on here, it's always their first. And yeah, just no pressure put on the man there. Anybody could have scored that goal, even me misses. But now, not long after that goal, we're coming forward again. Brooking into Braybrook. Can he play it to a teammate? Yep, Bobbington with it. Into Brooking. Into Braybrook. To burn, and his shot oh, just curls past the post. 25 minutes just about left. It's Burkitt with the ball into Peters. And now Peter's coming forward with it. He plays it long, but to absolutely nobody. You know what? I'm going to change the camera. Because it's a bit too zoomed in for my liking. Can I change it? Or can I just go TV? That's a bit better. And now it's Brooking with it. Into Bovington. Into Peter's. Peter's with a long shot. And oh, ho, ho. So close. So, so close there to taking the lead. Oh, I was just about to make a sub. But let's see how this highlight progresses first. Winfield heads it away. 
goes to burn it to Redknapp. He plays it back to Bobbington, who's in space. Goes for a long shot, and that is in the back of the net for Eddie Bovington's seventh of the season. And once again, we are so close to getting to Wembley. Redknapp with the ball on the replay, and then Bovington just absolutely fires the ball home. We are 20 minutes away, people. All right, these are the two changes we are making. Martin Peters hasn't had the best game of his life. So he's going off for John Sissons. And Roger Cross is coming on for Johnny Byrne, who again has been very average today. Ten minutes left. Forrest are coming forward again. A Forrest goal now. And if it ended like that, we would be going to extra time, I believe. As their balls try to come in and Cross is unable to get to it. Chapman, the goal scorer, goes all the way back to their keeper, Gummit. Now it goes to McKinley. Over the top he goes. And Wignall's in. He's in him behind and it is. Oh my gosh. It's 2-2 two -two on the night. 4-4 four -four on aggregate. Wignall with his 12th of the season. And what a back and forth game this has been. McKinley with it on the replay. Just went over the top. And Wignall as easy as you like. Just thundering the ball past our keeper. Oh my gosh, extra, no it's not extra time, it's penalties. We are going straight to penalties here. Let's go auto pick. Or do I want Bobby Moore taking the first one? Or I might just swap him around with Roger Cross. I might just go for that. Because I don't really want him taking the last one in case it's not necessary. So I think that's how we're going to line up for the penalties. Cross, Brooking, Sissons, Moore, Bovington for the first five. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Roger Cross with the penalty first for us. Come on. Come on, son. He runs up and he scores. Yes. Very nice penalty there. Sending the keeper completely the wrong way. And now Wignall for Forrest. And yes, what a save for Mackleworth. That is the perfect start to a penalty shootout. And now Brookin, the youngster. Can he double our advantage? Of course he can. The legend that is Brookin just continues to grow. And now Baker for Forrest. He shoots and that goes in the back of the net. We've got the advantage though. As long as we score all our penalties, we will be in the League Cup final. Sissons with the penalty and it's missed it. Oh, absolutely nothing between our two teams. Hindley now with the penalty for Forrest. He runs up and he's funded that in the back of the net. Oh, ho, ho, this isn't good. My heart, he cannot take this. This is why I've not played FM in about a month. Cannot take the stress. Bobby Moore, yes. Of course, Bobby Moore, the captain, gets the ball home. And now, Alan Hinton putting the ball down for his penalty. Runs up, shoots, and that's in the back of the net. It's free all after four penalties apiece. We are at sudden death, lads. Bovington with it. Come on. He shoots. He's, fire, he's fired the ball home. I'm, I'm forgetting how to speak English now with all the nerves. And so, comes down to this one for the time being. If McKinley scores, we're carrying on for a while. If he misses, we are in the final. What do you think, lads? I, I think he's going to score. I think we're still going to be here for a little while, people. Really hope I'm wrong. McKinley with a short run up there. And we saved it. We are in the League Cup final. Yes! Come on, you Irons. Oh, 
I, I've got a sore throat anyway, but that is not helped with it. We are in the League Cup final, 4-3 on penalties after two legs. Oh, thank God for that. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. I'm delighted for you all. Everybody's happy. Let's go continue. And let's decide when we're going to be back for the next episode of this series. Oh, there you see it. We've got Man United in the final of the League Cup. We have beaten Man U this season. So we can go into it with confidence. And Man U, I believe, haven't been doing that well in the league. No, they haven't. They're 12th in the league. So that should give us a lot of confidence for the final. But let's see when we're going to come back. Um, how about that? How about we do... Do we do a double header? Or do we just come back for the final? I think we just come back for the final. To be honest. So that's when the next... Then that's what the next game will be in this series. That will be at some point next week. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel and the Twitter. And any other social media to find out when that will be and so guys that is where we are going to leave it for today if you've enjoyed that video pop a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for more fm19 content fm20 content when that game comes out and also subscribe for the pro evo 2020 series the West Ham one, we're in the Master League. And also the Real Madrid Classic Team Series, whenever those teams get released. And so yeah guys, that's a lot of good stuff happening on the channel. Also as well, join the FM Creators Discord and the Passion for FM Discord. Join both of them down below. Check out the Passion for FM Twitter page, the FM Creators Twitter page and the FM Creators website. That is not one, but two awesome FM communities I am content. I'm a content creator for. So please check both of them out. All the links will be down below. And yep, I think that's just about everything for today. I shall see you next time. Bye.